Right now, live at five new restrictions. Minnesota's governor turns back the dial for restaurants and more in the state. And the FDA has approved a new coronavirus treatment for emergency use, what it means. Duluth City Council approved a year-round warming center. See where it possibly could be located. And the presidential transition process has yet to formally begin. This comes as the Trump campaign continues to file new lawsuits claiming voter fraud. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over the city of Duluth. We're learning more details on Governor Tim Walz's plan for the state as cases continue to rise. We'll also be hearing from Governor Tony Evers in Wisconsin later this evening. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. Minnesotans will soon have new COVID restrictions to follow as Governor Tim Walz says our darkest days are still ahead. The governor rolled out new regulations today. This comes as the state is regularly setting new record case highs. Wall says Minnesota is in the midst of a significant surge. These measures are meant to slow that and give medical staff time to respond. Starting Friday, both indoor and outdoor private gatherings are limited to 10 people from no more than three different households. Bars and restaurants cannot serve dining customers between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. They're limited to 50% capacity and a maximum of 150 people. Wall says these regulations are targeted based on the current data. It's certainly not our intention to, uh, to demonize any industry or any activity. It's simply important for us to understand what we know eight months into this, what spreads this thing, who gets it and is more likely to spread it, what's happening with asymptomatic spread. There are also new rules for gatherings like weddings and funerals. Starting November 27th, they'll be limited to 50 people. On December, December 11th, that drops to 25 people. Governor Walls called it a phased approach, giving people time to plan. Meanwhile, an hour from now, Wisconsin's governor plans to address the state's COVID-19 situation. Governor Tony Evers' office wasn't able to share any other details. The statewide address starts at 6.05 tonight. We'll be listening in live on the CBS 3 News at 6. We will also have a full recap tonight at 10. This comes as Wisconsin reported nearly 4,400 new cases on Monday. That's up from Sunday, but still dramatically fewer than the record 7,000 cases recorded on Saturday. Duluth schools are sending all students home and pausing athletics as cases in the city surge. In an announcement this afternoon, Superintendent John Magus says the changes will go into effect next week, giving families time to prepare. Next Wednesday, November 18th, all in-person learning, after-school activities, and athletics will be suspended. Elementary students will start distance learning Thursday. Middle and high school students are already learning from home. Magus says the new model will continue through at least December 13th, depending on the infection rate at that time. The FDA has approved a new coronavirus treatment for emergency use. The antibody is supposed to treat mild to moderate virus infections in adults and children. It shows it can ease symptoms and lower the risk of hospitalization to some patients. The government has already struck a $375 million deal with the company for 300,000 doses of the treatment. They plan to have 100,000 vials ready to ship within days. Patients are supposed to receive the antibody at no cost. Senior citizens looking to protect themselves against coronavirus in Wisconsin might have trouble accessing the vaccine. The Wisconsin Department of Health has not expanded the state's popular senior care program to include coverage for vaccines. Republican lawmakers are demanding an explanation, calling the delay an unnecessary roadblock. The department says it's been waiting for federal money to fund the coverage. Once a COVID-19 vaccine is available, it should also be covered under the expansion that lawmakers approved back in April. Switching to politics, President-elect Joe Biden continues to lay out plans for his upcoming administration despite ongoing challenges from President Trump and his supporters over the election results. Natalie Brand is in Wilmington, Delaware with more. President-elect Joe Biden discussed the Affordable Care Act after the U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments on the constitutionality of the landmark health care law. Come January. We're going to work quickly with the Congress to dramatically ramp up health care protections. Is it time to concede? On Capitol Hill, Vice President Mike Pence attended a closed meeting with Senate Republicans where lawmakers expressed support for President Trump's challenges to the election results. Until the Electoral College votes, 
anyone who's running for office can exhaust concerns. The president continues to make unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud and ballot counting abuse. Meanwhile, lawmakers are reacting to a memo issued by Attorney General Bill Barr this week telling prosecutors they can pursue substantial allegations of voting irregularities before the election is certified. I thought it was perfectly appropriate. What he did yesterday is unprecedented. And unforgivable. Here in Delaware, President-elect Biden says the transition continues and they have enough resources even if the General Services Administration continues to block the process. Have you tried to reach out at all to the president? And if he is watching right now, what would you say to him? Mr. President, look forward to speaking with you. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. Secretary Pompeo says the world right. should have every confidence that the so State the Department is functional and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th. Senior administration officials tell CBS News there are still no plans to consider inviting Biden to the White House until after all legal options are exhausted. Today, President-elect Joe Biden spoke by phone with the leaders of the United Kingdom, Ireland, France, and Germany. All right, Dave's here for our first look at the weather tonight. Dave, a return to fall-like weather today. Fall-like and even winter-like. Yeah. Winter storm warning now covering most of our area. And the change began yesterday with a cold front, and that set us up for morning temperatures like this. Instead of being warmer than normal, we went to cooler than normal. Many northern Minnesota towns bottomed out in the teens and the rest of the region in the 20s and a similar round of temperatures likely coming tonight along with a fair chance for some snow. Twin low pressure systems working through the upper Midwest right now. Yesterday that one to the east had a trough extending off the back of it which then turned into its own low pressure system working up from the southwest now and that's bringing us a 100 percent chance for snow during the overnight. I'll show you a map on how much snow we're going to get here in just a couple of minutes. And bottom line is we're all going to get a little bit, at least on the fringes of our region, right through the center. It could be several inches. And again, I'll show you that chart in just a bit. But this is going to go away fairly quickly. The snow may not start till about 8 o'clock or so for a lot of our towns. And by 4 in the morning, it should be gone. And then for Veterans Day tomorrow, it's going to be a very lovely day with a mostly sunny sky and a high temp of 35 degrees which is a little bit cooler than normal, but it's not horribly so. Well, once we get into Thursday, there could be another chance of snow coming our way. Will this be a big one or just a little one? I'll let you know about that and what the weekend holds in store coming up in just a couple more minutes. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, traditions will continue as normal for the College of St. Scholastica, plus a drive through turkey dinner for Cloquet veterans. City by City is coming up right after the break. And tonight at 6, following Governor Walls' announcement of more restrictions, we're hearing, from lo we'll hear hearing local reaction from bar and restaurant owners in the area. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Bakke, Anthony Matt, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS3. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Real Steel. Find yours and find what fuels you. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up at over 9,000 local steel dealers. Find yours at steeldealers.com. It's starting to get cold outside. Northwest Outlet is running with fresh new inventory to keep you warm this fall and winter from Carhartt. Men and women know when they shop Northwest Outlet for Carhartt, they know their stuff. They carry more styles, more sizes, more colors, and more flame retardant Carhartt than anyone in the Northland. Jackets, jeans, shirts, gloves, bibs, hats, belts, socks, and sweats. We've got them all. Check Northwest Outlet's gigantic selection of long underwear along with Carhartt work boots, rugged but comfortable. Northwest Outlet, home of Carhartt Superior. This year, more than ever, we are urging you to get your flu shot. During this pandemic, it seems there are so many things we can't do. Well, this is something we can do. Flu shots are now widely available throughout our community, including at St. Luke's and Desentia. It takes just a few moments, and getting a flu shot protects you and those around you. Let's do everything we can to stay healthy. Let's get our flu shots. On behalf of Essentia and St. Luke's and, and our, our entire, entire region, thank, thank you. you. 
There are a lot of choices when it comes to automotive care, but how can you find someone you trust? At East End Auto, our customers have trusted us for the past 20 years to provide them with the best auto care. As your area's full-service repair shop, with the most modern equipment available to us, and backed by a two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty, honesty is what our customer relationships are built upon. Locally family-owned and operated, stop out to see why East End Auto is the community's trusted auto repair home. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Spirit Mountain. Dave Anderson will have more on incoming weather in just a few minutes. But first, let's take a quick look around the region. Traditions will continue as normal for the College of St. Scholastica. Plus, an Ashland author is recognized for his work. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. off here in Duluth where the College of St. Scholastica is keeping with tradition by allowing in-person holiday events despite COVID-19. The Lighting a Tradition event will be held on Wednesday, November 18th. This event will include Christmas carols, cookies and beverages, and a countdown to the college tree lighting. St. Scholastica says they are taking precautions to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Now heading to Cloquet where the VFW Post 3979 will be holding a Veterans Day turkey dinner from 3 to 6 p.m. tomorrow. Due to COVID-19, the dinner is pickup only in the parking lot of the VFW. There is no charge to veterans with a military ID, but there is a $10 charge for everyone else. The dinner was sponsored by the American Legion Auxiliary. And finally, we'll finish off in Ashland, where an instructor with the Northland College has received an award for environmental storytelling. Peter Annan it was one of three recipients of the 2020 Great Lakes Leadership Award for Communication Excellence. He earned the award for his work as an environmental reporter and for his book, The Great Lakes Water Wars. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, Duluth is looking to address a growing homeless area. Here's a live look at I-35 just south of Cloquet. You can see a little bit of light snow starting to pick up and perk up and peak up on the sides of the roads there. But the flurries may fly more furiously as the night goes on. Winter storm warning covers many of our towns. We'll show you which ones and for how long coming up right after our break. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS 3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Matt tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. Get out and experience the great outdoors this winter with gear from your friends at Continental Ski and Bike. Continental has Alpine, Nordic, and fat biking gear for the whole family. Looking to tune your current gear? Let Continental Technicians tune up your skis for your next adventure. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Right now, millions of people and billions of devices are connected to the internet. Homes, businesses, hospitals, schools. The security and reliability of these connections are more important than ever. That's why at Mediacom, we've built a network to protect them. A network that sees threats, fixes problems before they occur, and keeps you going with 99.99% .99 network reliability. Because adventure still needs chasing, we gave the newly redesigned 2021 Subaru Crosstrek a more powerful engine. Plus, standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. And Subaru is the most trusted brand for six years running, according to Kelly Blue Book. Love. It's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Lease a new 2021 Subaru Crosstrek for only $1.99 a month. Visit Miller Hill Subaru today at 4710 Miller Trunk Highway, online at MillerHill.com. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Von Duluth Casino is hiring. Apply today. When you needed results, we gave them to you. When you wanted accurate information in real time, we had it. Everything from the presidential election right down to your neighborhood. CBS 3 was there. Live, local, CBS 3, your station for campaign 2020. Season 2 is here. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS 3. 
Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Our low pressure system is on our doorstep. It's down to the southwest, working up from the Twin Cities towards our region. And that's where the folks will bear the brunt of the precip that's coming from the system. Winter storm warning is running right up the center of our region for the North Shore and for the South Shore. And on the fringes of the area, up towards International Falls and getting over towards Grand Rapids and into the Upper Peninsula, a winter weather advisory. So we're all going to get something here tonight, and I'll show you what coming up in just a bit as I show the snow total map. But right now we'll set the stage as always with a quick look at the current conditions. 27's the current temperature. So big fall from last week's warm spell. Relative humidity is up to 72%. And that's a big increase as well. Remember on Friday we were looking at an enhanced fire danger risk. Well, with all that rain yesterday and snow tonight, that should be gone for a while. Hopefully for six, seven months, the way we roll around here. Rolling right now is a northeasterly wind at 10 miles per hour, and our air pressure is on the lower side at 29.7 inches of mercury. Current temperatures, yeah, again, much cooler than yesterday. 27 to 30 in the Upper Peninsula, and about 28 to 31 here in northwestern Wisconsin. Solon Springs area seems to be the cool spot, superior the warm spot. Moose Lake region, 28 degrees. Two Harbors is there as well. Getting towards the Vermilion Range, lower 20s, mid 20s for much of the Mesabi. And border country is running from 22 to 25 degrees. Tomorrow morning, low temps could dip into the teens again for the Arrowhead, probably lower to mid 20s for many of the rest of us here. Perfect temperatures for the formation and the sustenance of snow which is what we're going to get. The computer models put our chance for snow at 100% later on here tonight through about 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And this is the low pressure system here from yesterday that brought the rain. Now connected by a, by a trough of lower pressure and a stationary front, we have another one to our southwest. And that's what's working up right now, starting to push the snows into our area. Light right now, but after 8 o'clock could pick up and get pretty heavy till about 2 o'clock in the morning and then wind down towards 4. Then tomorrow, as quickly as this low pressure system here is going to work up into our area, it'll be replaced by higher pressure from Canada. So sunshine will rule the day for Veterans Day, and hopefully we can get out and uh, say congratulations to our favorite vets around the region. Well, how much snow are we going to get then? I think, thanks to a little bit of lake enhancement here, lakeside communities, both North Shore and South Shore, and then through the head of the lakes, four to eight inches, and towards the periphery of our region, maybe one to three. Uh, even the one is slippery, so do drive cautiously. Now let's eye up the forecast here tonight. 100% chance for this snow in Minnesota. And the low temps could go as cool as 15 towards International Falls and be as warm as 25 on Park Point. And to Wisconsin and Michigan, low temps there will be in the lower 20s. And folks there get that 100% snow chance as well. And it will be windy to boot. Northeasterly wind all around the region, 10 to 20 miles per hour. For tomorrow, by the time you get up, well, our hard-working road crews are probably going to be out salting and plowing for us, and it may not be that bad, but still be careful for the morning commute. The day should be clear to partly cloudy, and Wisconsin, Michigan, high temps will be in the mid to upper 30s. And for Minnesota, perhaps low to mid 30s, a little bit warmer by the lake with that partly cloudy sky again for our Veterans Day. Then into Thursday, there's a small low coming in behind the high that we'll have for Wednesday, but it just brings a 30% chance for some flurries. Then Friday, we clear up again. 30 degrees will be the top temp then. The warmest days of the week likely will be Saturday and Sunday, Tony. Cloudier sky, highs near 40, and a chance for a rain and snow mix. Right now, the latest models indicate 30 to 40% chance for okay. that. But if it is a mix, and folks are out uh, second week of deer camp, as yeah. I like to say, could be slippery and you need to be careful. Yeah, those cooler temperatures though I think will benefit a lot more hunters next weekend than yeah. was happening. And then on the on 15th the UP season opens. Yeah. And then after that uh, Wisconsin will be coming up. Hopefully they all get cool weather and uh, some nice white snow. And Thanks, stay Dave. safe. Yeah. Duluth's homeless population is growing. St. Louis County reported an 18% increase in people experiencing homelessness from July of 2019 to July of this year. The Duluth City Council says it's working to reverse that issue. The council unanimously approved spending $400,000 from the city's COVID-19 CARES Act funding to create a year-round warming center and hygiene facility. CBS 3's Emma Quinn spoke with one city councilor who proposed the idea about how this will help the community. Lincoln Park Community Center could soon be home to a new year-round warming shelter and hygiene facility. 
all to help Duluth's growing homeless population. City Councilors Roz Randorf and Renee Van Nett proposed the idea as a way to help the growing homeless community. Monday night, the City Council approved using 400,000 CARES Act federal funding the city received due to the pandemic. Randorf says helping those in the community get the resources they need will only help decrease the issue. The fact that we could connect all the dots and make really good use of this federal funding to solve a very complex issue in our community is awesome. City leaders say the next step is to tour the Lincoln Park Community Center, start estimating costs, and begin the permitting process needed to start renovations. Randolph says the goal is to get the warming shelter and hygiene facility up and running by next fall. Thanks, Emma. City leaders say they are also looking into getting full-time staff to run the building instead of relying on volunteer-only work. Skiers and snowboarders waiting to get it out on the mountains will have to be pot patient a little longer. Here's a live look at Lutzen Mountain, the resort originally planned to open this Saturday. But due to the warm weather last week and the rain Monday, their plans have changed. Since the snow they had has mostly melted, they plan to move opening day back one week. Connecting the dots between the piles really still needs to be done and we'll resume snowmaking tonight and the weather is looking pretty decent for that going forward. Lutzen Mountains will hold its opening weekend on November 21st. Still to come, blood is in high demand right now and the Red Cross is looking for volunteers to donate. How you can help out this Veterans Day. New Duluth Auto is the Duluth used car dealer. We have plenty of makes and models to choose from. Nissan, Honda, Toyota, and we even carry multiple options for our most popular vehicle, the Subaru Forester. Large cargo space, all-wheel drive, what's not to love? All of our vehicles are priced under $20,000. To make these deals even sweeter, there is a one to five year warranty included on all vehicles. Give us a call, stop by, or view our inventory online at newduluthauto.net. Because here at New Duluth Auto, we are your Duluth used car dealer. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask J3 Insurance in Duluth if auto owners make sense for you. What do you get when you add care from Essentia Health and coverage from UCARE? Essentia Care, now available for a more affordable price. Essentia Care's Medicare Advantage plans have premiums that start at $0 per month in select counties. You'll be able to see your Essentia Health provider at our 15 hospitals and 71 clinics. Plus, Essentia Care plans allow you the freedom to see any provider who accepts Medicare. Compare and shop plans at UCARE.org slash Essentia Care. At Super One Foods, we're dedicated to delivering the best products to your family's table. Our fresh, never frozen, and hand breaded deli chicken is made every day with the best ingredients, including our signature breading. While you visit, choose from dozens of delicious sides to accompany your meal. And don't forget about our amazing selection in our bakery. We offer fresh baked breads, rolls, and desserts fit for any occasion. You'll find quality, convenience, and craftsmanship at Super One Foods, every day delivering low prices and better choices. Hello, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. For the month of November, we are offering free upgrades to a premium wall system for all your bath and shower purchases. All of our products are backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal of Approval and come with a lifetime warranty. You can still get one of our great financing options for low monthly payments or zero down, zero interest, and zero payments till 2022. This offer ends November 30th, so call us today or go online to book your appointment. Bath Planet, out of this world service and down to earth price. Western lets your UTV power through the storm. The Impact V-Plow and Impact Straight Blade. With the features the pros demand. Custom tailored for your UTV. And to keep your work top notch, rely on the Tornado UTV Hopper Spreader. Now that's a job well done. Western, more jobs done faster. Get your snowplow from the experts at JM Auto Service. We are Western Snowplow Headquarters. Duluth City Council approved a year-round warming center. See where, if possible, can be located. Snowstorms right on our doorstep should be with us after 10 o'clock. I'll talk about how long it'll last. Tonight at 6 on CBS 3. Coming up Wednesday on CBS 3 this morning, it's Veterans Day. And there are plenty of events happening virtually and across the Northland to honor our nation's heroes. And we'll take a look at that snow recap as well as the road conditions as we head through your Wednesday. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS3. 
Hermantown is closing its government services building. The city cited an increase in COVID cases and exposure among city employees and the Hermantown police. The building houses City Hall along with the fire and police departments. They advise anyone with an emergency to still call 911. You can also conduct other city-related business online. Meanwhile, two Midwest Air Force bases are being impacted by COVID-19 cases. Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota and the Minneapolis St. Paul Air Reserve Base are among nine in the world categorized as a red installation. That's due to the rise of active COVID-19 cases in areas surrounding the bases. Officials say that means any civilian or service member would have to meet specific requirements or have an approved waiver to either arrive to or leave the base. Department officials won't comment on the number of coronavirus cases on the different bases. The Red Cross kicked off a two-day Veterans Day blood drive today at Amsoil Arena. According to the Red Cross, blood is in high demand as donations have been low throughout the pandemic. While donating, you will also be tested for COVID-19 antibodies, which could potentially help save a life. Organizers say they could not think of a better way to help and serve the community on this Veterans Day. Veterans really represent the spirit of service in our communities, and so this is one way that we can all show our service to the community as well. So it's a great way to come out, donate blood, save one's, someone's life, and also write out a message for a local service member or veteran. If you are interested in donating, they will be open tomorrow again from noon until 5. For more information on how to pre-register, you can head on over to our website. If you've been out of a job due to the pandemic, General Motors is looking to fill a lot of tech positions. GM says they plan to hire 3,000 new employees from now through early next year. The jobs will focus on engineering, design, and information technology. Automaker is working on developing self-driving and electric vehicles along with advanced platforms like smart battery systems. They also need workers with software experience. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, tonight a CBS News exclusive on racing to a cure. How will the vaccine be distributed? We go inside a Pfizer facility that will store the doses at negative 100 degrees. Plus, President-elect Biden holding calls with foreign leaders as President Trump refuses to concede and threatens legal action. And tonight, the extraordinary story of the first Iron Man finisher with Down syndrome. Chris Nickage shares his motto that could inspire us all. That's tonight here on the CBS Evening News. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. It's the Veterans Day sale at Home Furniture. Everything is on sale. Plus, take an extra 10% off sale prices on any purchase. With zero down, no interest financing until 2022. And free no-contact shipping on orders $4.99 or more. The Veterans Day sale, now at Home Furniture. We pick up the phone because it's ringing. Hello, this is Sam. That's simple human sense. Ask the Holden Insurance Agency if auto owners make sense for you. So, you made it all the way up to the North Pole? Yep, and the South. But I need good Medicare coverage so I can keep exploring. Well, we have Medicare Advantage plans. Some starting at $0 a month. Can I find them online? Yeah, absolutely. Or you can give us a call. Sounds good. Well, our stop is just up ahead. So that was the shortest ride I think I've ever been on. Yeah, quarantine legs. <laughs> 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 Gotta work those muscles back up. Fond du Loup Casino is having a sock drive. Now through December 15th, bring in a new unopened package of three or more socks to the Fond du Loup Casino Players Club, and you'll receive $5 in club cash. All the socks collected will be given to a charitable organization and distributed to families in need. For more information, stop by the Players Club or log on to FondaLoupCasino.com. The sock drive is a great way to give back to the community while you have a great time out at Fond du Loup. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on CBS3. During the Veterans Day sale at Home Sleep Express, get no interest financing on any Tempur-Pedic for six years. Plus, Home will give you a $300 shopping card, free delivery, setup, and a 120-day comfort guarantee. No interest financing on Tempur-Pedic for six years at Home Sleep Express. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Tuesday evening. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and a peek at what's still to come at 6. 
Minnesotans will soon have new COVID restrictions to follow, as Governor Tim Walz says our darkest days are still ahead. The governor rolled out new regulations today. They come as the state is regularly setting new record case highs. Walz says Minnesota is in the midst of a significant surge. These measures are meant to slow that and give medical staff time to respond. St. Louis County reported an 18% increase in people experiencing homelessness from July of 2019 to July of this year. Well, the Duluth City Council is now working to reverse that issue. They unanimously approved spending $400,000 from the city's COVID-19 CARES Act funding to create a year-round warming center and hygiene facility. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll be going live with Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers as he addresses the state on COVID-19's impact. The governor did not give any details on what he would specifically talk about in the address, but it comes as Wisconsin reported nearly 4,400 new cases on Monday. Tony, this is a special Tuesday. It is a special Tuesday. We have to wish my dad a happy birthday today. It's his 62nd today. He's probably going to be really mad at me. I was going to say, is he going to be happy yeah. about that? I mean, 40. <laughs> <laughs> but he and my mom are watching from Tennessee tonight, so love and miss you guys, and happy birthday, Happy dad. 29th birth birthday, Mr. Yeah. Matt. <laughs> That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6 o'clock.